how to get rid of bamboo. You know, bamboo kind of has a charming appeal to it from a distance, but trust me, never plant this stuff around your house. You know, I grew up in an area where I don't ever recall seeing it growing anywhere. Here in North Carolina, it is quite common to see groves of it growing here and there. Sometimes you can be out in the woods, you come across a grove of it along waterways, but not always, it doesn't always have to be around water. Now, when I moved into this house, there was a few stalks of it growing up behind my house. The guy before me had a, uh, a hot tub, and I guess he thought that might add to the ambience of the, of the moment. And I guess he planted a few back there. And I didn't think too much about it. Uh, but, you know, a couple years later, Shazam, man, I had a bamboo grove taking over that whole area. Here, you can see a grove of it along the side of a road near my house. Now, about eight years ago, there was just a few plants. But now you can see how rapidly they can spread. I mean, this whole area has just sprung up. Every time I come up to this uh, exit ramp, I always kind of look off to the side to see what type of progress that grove of bamboo is making. When I've been out in the woods hunting with the dogs or... Just out going for a walk, I've come across groves of bamboo. In fact, I was out one day with my dogs, and uh, I about had to grab them up because they started heading into it. And that stuff was so thick that I don't think I could have got in there to get them out if, uh, if I couldn't get them to call out, you know? This grove here is relatively thin. Because a lot of people stop by and they cut stalks out of it for projects or whatever. I've seen them on the side of the road. And I have too. I mean, the stuff works great for making trellises in your garden or uh, whatever. And if, you know, if the appearance didn't bother you, if you like that style, you could build a whole fence out of this stuff. And uh, if you live in the right part of the country, trust me, there are plenty of places where you can get it for free in all that you want. Well, anyway, when I knew my bamboo situation was getting out of control, I decided to get out there and cut it down. You know, what's the big deal? So I simply got out there and cut it down. Uh, and I burned it. And I'll let you know, each little of those little bamboo sections, those air pockets, will explode, ha has a little explosion to it. It's kind of interesting as you burn it. In no time at all, though, the stuff grew right back with new sprouts everywhere. I thought, hmm. So I did what everybody does. I went online to find out how to get rid of it. And from what I read, it didn't seem like an easy task. Roundup doesn't work. Uh, one option offered was to get a cup of Roundup, and after you cut the stalk real close to the ground, immediately daub the end of the stalk with, I guess, straight Roundup. I did that, and sure enough, all those stalks were dead. But new shoots were coming up in different places because it didn't, it didn't kill the root system. And new shoots just spring right off of the roots and come straight up. Another cure-all was to get a backhoe and remove, move, just remove it, roots and all. Just scrape the whole area down. Well, obviously, that wasn't a, a viable option. So one day, in frustration, I went out there with a mattock and I started digging the roots up. I thought, I'll just pull them all up. And all those little bamboo stumps I now had, which those things just don't seem to rot. And they are strong. You could hit those things uh, with your mattock hard as you want, and they won't break. I'm telling you, those things are tough. Now, the roots are not very deep. They're only a, an inch or two deep. And they kind of come up like long, hairy rope. And they're, like I said, they're only buried an inch or two in the soil, so it takes a little effort to get them up, but they, they will come up. So I did that and had a big pile of them, and that kind of slowed it down for a, another two years or so, and then I noticed, here they come again. Not only that, but they were coming up in other areas now. So I was really getting frustrated, wasn't sure what to do, other than to just keep giving it a haircut. And then one day I was out back, I had a, I had a half a sheet of plywood laying on the ground, I was going to burn it. So I threw that piece of plywood onto a little sprout of bamboo. And a couple of weeks later, I was out there again. I lifted up, and the bamboo was dead. Just brown and dried out. So I thought, hmm. So it got me to thinking. And so what I did was I thought, I wonder if I covered this whole place in black 
plastic. I mean, surely that black plastic would attract the sun, get hot as Hades underneath there, and not allow any sunlight to come through. So I needed some plastic for another job anyway. So I bought a big roll of it. And I got out there and rolled out some, oh, I don't know, 20 foot long sections of it and cut it open and opened it up. And they were, I think they opened up 20 foot wide. So that tells you how big of an area we're talking about. And so I spread that out and I threw some of the clumps, the old uh, clumps from the bamboo that I had dug up. I threw that on top to keep it from blowing away and just some branches and stuff. Five years later, that stuff just really hasn't come up except in one little area off to the edge of the plastic that's kind of really in my neighbor's area. Actually, I covered into his area a little bit, but now I, I notice a couple of them off in that area. So I don't know if I got to have a word with him about getting permission to uh, plastic his area a little bit in there until we can just knock the rest of it out. But I, I think really the key is not poison. It's not cutting it down. The key is either A, get a backhoe in there and dig it all out, or B, <clears throat> starve it for sunlight. So if you've got bamboo in your backyard, try that. Cut it down real close to the ground so that the little stumps don't stick up through the plastic or poke holes. And just cover the darn area with plastic and just throw some whatever on top of it to keep the plastic from blowing away. And see if that works for you. Now, if you know of another solution that works, you got a better idea, you know about something else, hey, tell it, share it. We all want to know about it. Well, that wraps it up for my bamboo eradication video. I appreciate you listening in. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Make some comments. Let's hear what you got. And I'll see you next time.